Okay, so today's um, tutorial is basically trying to solve a problem. This problem is this space, we have to be able to have all of these values, um, basically detect all of these values and send them and have the cube here move up on the Z axis when I hit the space bar. Um, and basically, but I'm only allowed, I'm not allowed to add more controllers and I have to use an expression to um, detect. So it will only, the, the problem is I have to move this up, make, make this move up when prop is equal to true, when nop is equal to one, and when plop is equal to 1.1. So the way we're gonna do this is we have to pr put some values in the expression controller here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say prop equals true here and I'm going to say and not equals one and I'm going to say and plop equals 1.1 and of course this won't execute if I set plop to 1.1 then it will, but it will. But I'm not holding the spacebar. I can't. It's just going indefinitely. So I need to make it so that only when I hit the spacebar it moves up. So before all of these, I'm just going to add another one, and it's going to say keyboard, keyboard, like so, equals true, and then I'm going to put an add, and it only goes up when I hit the space bar. This is an insanely useful controller for mainly optimizations. You can do all of the things you can do with this controller using all of the other options here, but if you want to really optimize your game and make it fast and snappy, you use the expression controller. I will link the wiki article below and it will give a more in-depth explanation on what this thing does. So you can look at that and mess around, use a, little, a few of the other features for more interesting tasks. But this is the core of what the expression controller does. And it is a really nifty controller, I have to say. There are other things you can do too though. So where it says nop and blop, I could also say Instead of and, I could say or. So it's still execute when that's set one. But if this is at zero, it doesn't execute, but I bring this one up to 1.1, then it executes. All controllers will continue to work as this goes on. So I highly recommend playing around with this. It's really easy to understand. Just use all the different gates that I uh, um, in, uh, showed off in part one of this video to learn how to properly use this because this is a really powerful and handy tool to, to use and it's really easy to understand if you can get, pa get past the uh, initial like oh my god what is why well, I have to actually type commands and text in here well anyways thank you so much for watching if you like this video please do like it and um, if you want to keep up to date so subscribe and I suppose if you actually want to be notified of videos then hit the bell but I'm not that's just I don't know YouTube fix your platform anyways um, I'm Kondradi and I will see you all later thank you so much for watching